Hi, how are you? I needed a video that I could film and upload in the same day. This is gonna be an exciting video nonetheless, just because it's a short video doesn't mean we're not gonna have fun, right? Right, yeah, okay. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be embarking on part two, part the. We are going to be embarking on part two of my Lunchables trying taste test series. Um, in part one, I tried the Lunchables pizza version uh, kit um, and I talked about how you know I never got Lunchables as a kid because my mom cared about my health but now that I'm an adult and I have my own money and I have my own house I can ruin my health and nobody's gonna tell me that I can't so I went to the store today and out of all the options that I had the pizza one I already tried and then all of the other ones were like boring you know like the nacho ones or the ham and cracker cheese one and I was like that's not fun. All you have to do is just pretty much eat it. I want to put something together. I want it to be fun. Let's have fun. So what I picked up was this version, the mini hot dogs and Sour Patch Kids and Capri Sun pack. This one kind of drew my eye because of the Sour Patch Kids. I'm not going to lie. I wanted some Sour Patch Kids, so I picked this one up. But I think it's gonna be really good. Um, so, and it's got like little mustard packages and ketchup packages in it too. Let's open up this bad boy and get to eating it. In here we've got two mini little hot dogs. buns got to me and the hot dogs didn't but these are so tiny and cute we got our capri sun which i'm excited about this sour patch kids which i'm pretty sure there's gonna be about five in here so that's disappointing ketchup and mustard like i'm definitely not gonna need all of this mustard when i was a little kid i didn't like mustard on my hot dogs but now that i'm older and sophisticated i will take a little bit of mustard on my ketchup but just has to be a little bit, a little subtle, you know what I mean? I'm always gonna be more of a ketchup lady. Although when I was a kid, I didn't like ketchup either, I don't know. I feel like it should like peel off somewhere. Aha, yes, it peels off in the corner like this. It just really makes me wonder how long this has been sitting in the store because obviously we know that this bread is not fresh because it's been sitting in this airlocked, airtight, plastic bag bag it doesn't expire until april 7th it's my friend's birthday happy birthday natalie on april 7th there's no way that this is enough food to sustain a little kid i mean like this is probably enough for like a four or five year old but if you're giving your 10 year old this and they get two of these little tiny little hot dog turds that is not gonna be enough food to fill them up until dinner ew <laughs> That is not attractive, but let's try to dress it up, okay? Let's try to dress it up and make it look all nice and good with the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I made it swirly, I made it swirly. Okay, now mustard, who would give a little kid mustard? Cause my mom told me that mustard is like one of the only stains that you cannot get out because it's a dye. Like mustard isn't naturally yellow, they have to dye it yellow, so like you can't get the dye out of clothes. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it in the opposite direction. So, wait. Ooh, that is good. This is the wild cherry waterfall flavor. In case you're wondering, now we can taste the hot dog. See, I put too much mustard on. I mean, it's just a hot dog. This is definitely not enough. This is like three bites. Plus the other hot dog, which is probably gonna be another three bites. That's six bites of hot, plus candy. One hot dog down, I think I deserve us a candy. Oh, they didn't even give me a full serving size. Serving size, two bags. You freaking see that? Serving size, two bags. So this is half a serving. They don't even give me a full serving of candy. That's rude, rude. Out of the six that they gave me, three of them were the blue flavor, which is my favorite. I can't believe 
I used to not like Sour Patch Kids. These are so good. If I try to do the squiggly lines with the mustard, I just put too much mustard on. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny little line. Maddie, if you're watching this, little line. I really hope that people don't think that that's some kind of dirty joke. That's a joke that me and my friend Maddie came up with when we were in elementary school, so don't be dirty about it. I'm not gonna explain the joke to you because it's between me and her, but like, it's not a dirty joke. What do you call a hot dog that's not hot? But this isn't meant to be like a joke. Like, I'm actually wondering, is it still a hot dog or is it just a dog? They're called hot dogs because they're meant to be served and eaten hot, I think. So what do you do if you eat them and they're not hot? They're dishonored. <laughs> You're dishonoring the hot dog by eating it cold. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, I think. Um, I think that there is definitely room for improvement um, as far as Lunchables, but I give it points for obviously the Capri Sun, which is bomb. Points for their choice of candy because the Sour Patch Kids are awesome. The only thing that I'm docking them points for is the bread on the hot dog and the fact that they keep wanting to serve foods that are meant to be served hot, a cold version in a box for a kid to eat for lunch. Because most kids don't have, you know, microwaves so they can just heat up their lunch in at elementary school, you know? Like, what teacher's gonna let their elementary school kid run a microwave? I wouldn't. I wish they had like a game or something in here. Or on the box or something, you know, like a little maze. Or, I I forgot what I was saying, I started reading. Alrighty, well I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go edit this video now. Actually, I think I'm gonna eat some more food because I'm still hungry. And that's another thing that I'm, oh, this is sour. That green flavor, <laughs> this, this way, was way more sour than the orange flavor or the blue flavor. That's another thing I'm docking points for. The food portions are tiny. This is barely even a snack, let alone a lunch that's supposed to fuel and energize a little kid. What if some kids, you know, eat lunch and then they go out to the recess bar and you know, they're on the monkey bars and then their stomach starts growling and they're like, no, I'm so hungry. I should have gotten more to eat than just that stupid hot dog Lunchable. And then the kid comes home and he starts bitching and complaining to his mom. He's like, mom, you didn't give me enough food to eat. I was starving all day while the other kids were playing on the monkey bars. I just had to sit in the corner and pout because I didn't want to burn any more calories, which would make me even more hungry. Feed me, woman. I really hope kids don't actually talk like that. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. <clears throat> if you want to see a part three and you have any cool uh, launchable ideas or you know like snack pack kits that you want to see me try, don't forget to like this video and comment down below um, some ideas. If you, <clears throat> if you did have fun, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz that YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. And I will see you later.